I want you to see if you agree with this list. Oh man, not seeing this. At the number five spot, we got personal trainers. I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> Trust me, most personal trainers are. Oh, let me start over. The list is top five brokest <laughs> niggas <laughs> profession, broke nigga professions. Yeah. At the number five spot, we got personal <laughs> trainers. I'm speaking from experience. Trust me, most personal trainers are broke. They don't make no money, they don't got no clients, and a lot of them only got the job to show off their body and get chicks. At the number four spot, I see this every day, open mic comedians. Show up to the club every day, doing comedy, no money for drinks, no chicks, no nothing. Go get a job and do comedy on the side. Bro. <laughs> Three spot, we got spoken word poets. Showing up, doing angry poetry, yelling at you, trying to be inspirational and motivational. Ain't got a dollar. Bro. <laughs> at the number two spot, this could have easily been number one. Rappers. Local rappers to be exact. <laughs> Swear to God, they rich. They doing it big. Stay in the studio. Keep writing music. You ain't make it yet. Bro. And at the number now one. Now see spot, that one was big. Got bouncers. Thought cause you 6'8, 300 pounds, you was gonna make it to the NFL, maybe be a professional wrestler, but you blew out your knee and you didn't finish school. Now look at you putting your life on the line for ten dollars and fifty cents an hour. Angry and taking out all your aggression on us. Go back to school and get a real job. <laughs> Bouncers, the brokest profession in the country. Bro, this we ain't got it. That nigga, that was pretty funny, bro. He was it was hilarious. Pay, he was on some hater shit, but it was yeah. still funny. Yeah. So I think that one, the bouncer and the rapper shit was almost like he was bitter. I think a bouncer and a rapper fucked this girl. Oh. <laughs> I'm That'd be crazy with a bouncer rapper. Damn, that would be insane. Um, but I only say that because, like, you talking about open mics opposed to niggas that, on average, put together their own shows that, you know what I mean, they get paid from or generate some kind of small income selling shirts, whatever. Open mic comedians and, and um, uh spoken word artists don't have it as easy yeah. so i think uh rappers could have been bumped down i do think bouncers as well could have been bumped down uh but the list was on par so i ain't mad mm. at it only one i think only ones i think he forgot is he definitely forgot a few but i it, like you said he was on some hate and shit. he's the first person i seen do this so yeah, I respect it. Yeah, um, I don't even think like spoken word is like a profession. Who Not really at think all. About to get money is a spoken word. That nigga listed the five people that the fuck is yeah the fuck is girls. All right, I think if you was to legit make a list, you got to put club promoters on that list. No, you no, can't. You can't. Them niggas get bread. Club promoters get not all club promoters. Get not bread. all. Not all. I feel like most club promoters don't get money. You know the ones. You know the ones that get money. Right, right, right. But I could, yeah, I could give you that. I could give you that. In a club culture, especially like, I say this. I think that they don't get what a lot of people think they get. Oh, it's yeah. It's like some ones that are legit getting money out here, but you know the yeah. ones that just like don't get no money. Right. I f and you know it's crazy. Like the club, the this club culture is weird in Jacksonville because you could be a club promoter in Jacksonville and you could be that nigga. Yeah. And I never got that. That yeah. was always the weirdest shit ever. Like yeah. you could be a club and run in Jacksonville and hey, be like a celebrity. Here. Yeah, yeah. You talk like you have bitches. Like you'd be more famous than the rappers come through. I never got that shit. It was the weirdest shit ever to me. But I was like, I ain't gonna be no hater. But I was like, nigga, you just post a flyer on your IG, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> um, and the club, I be watching like the club culture now from like a distance because niggas older though. Yeah. But I be watching like the young the. Cause everybody want to be a club host now, and like they be, I be seeing like the flyers to these random club events, and it just be like niggas IG pictures on the side, and be uh -huh. like host, hosted like hosted by Pookie, hosted by Shauna, 
Like, nigga, who the fuck is this nigga? Dog? Right. It's like, what's going on here? Hosted by 13 niggas. I'm like, what the fuck? And, and none of them get on the stage. I seen one. Shit was like posted by a uh, nigga, nigga named like Tony or something. And the nigga had on his Chick fil A uniform in the picture. I'm like, bro, get this shit out of here, nigga. Nah, people tripping, man. The nigga had his Popeyes uniform on top of the hosted, but like, nigga, he yeah. about to come through smelling like chicken, nigga. Yeah, I mean, are they gonna MC tonight? Like, yeah, I don't get it. Like, what are you being hosted by? I don't know. I don't know. Is it free drinks or something? Cause, yeah. see, we got different like ideologies of of the club because of our experience with it. So, mm. but if I think a nigga hosted, I'm thinking you gonna be on the mic talking the whole night. I'm gonna think you you gonna be on the mic. I'm gonna think you gonna be on the stage, like very visible. Yeah. Uh, to some sort somewhat <coughs> not to say it introducing the artist but you know something of the sort yeah yeah but uh, this should be hosted by like 20 niggas and i'd be like who are these niggas yeah but i was like i'm glad i'm at the age i am now where like this shit don't matter like oh y'all niggas have fun but from outside looking at this shit look weird but it's got nothing to do with me so how y'all fun with young niggas yeah that's what I, that's what i be thinking man like do what you gotta do but I ain't going to no shit like that. I don't know that person, and they damn sure don't seem entertaining judged off their IG and shit. Yeah, it just be like a picture of them. Like, nigga, they just be stanced up. We're like, bro, where you got this picture from? Bro, even when you go to them people pages, half of them, like I say, they don't be doing shit. I'm not going to see some local chick that sits on, you know, and this ain't no disrespect, you know what I mean? But some, some chick that just sits on her online and twirls her hair. Uh, uh, yeah, they don't even be mean, doing like, like no content creation. They just be on IG. It's like, like they ain't got no YouTube. They don't got like no. They don't be doing no makeup or nothing. Yeah, you fine. It's, I'm I'm giving you that like 100. percent But I'm I'm not paying to go to the club because you there. <laughs> oh, Pamela's there. I can't wait to go. It'd be like little Pam Pam 38. Like, damn, I can't wait to see little Pam Pam 38. <laughs> Are, are we rolling? Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Huh? Huh? Subscribe to Random Max Podcast. Yeah, that's that's right. Hit the like button as well. We 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 want to get up to 10k. Go ahead, do that. <laughs> All right, Jay, bye, nigga. Let's go.